All right, I'm gonna show you something that I like to do. I like to tinker with cards. I've always wanted to create my own cards, which I have. Um, I go to training camp for the Bucks. I take pictures and then I kind of just make my own cards using a little bit of Photoshop, some apps. But so I'm gonna show you what I do, like on an optic card like this. There's layers to this card, uh, multiple actually. And uh, if you can peel the top layer off, this layer you're looking at from the back, which is basically like tin foil. Um, you get a clear acetate looking card and one of the things I like to do is take that card and then you know a perfect example is this Aaron Rodgers right here I tear this part card apart and then I put an old-school hologram behind it and I get this type of refractor type hollow look um, this is this has a Braves uh, old-school 90s baseball sticker behind it um, but I'm gonna show you real quick what I do and it's a little tricky. You need a sharp knife and you need to make sure you don't hurt yourself. Um, I always start by getting into the corner just to get a layer off. So when you peel it off, now see the, the, this top paper piece is coming off and this is right here is plastic. Thin layer of plastic that goes over the top layer of the back of it. And I'm just trying to thin the card out a little bit. Because uh, when you do that, you make it easier to pull that top layer off without removing the paint from the card that's on the front of it. And I'm showing you this real time. Um, I've already started this one. The tricky part is getting this piece up um, and it's really hard to see but um, it's a foil layer. This piece right here is foil. All right, and That's how you know you have a good edge. And You need that foil edge. You gotta grab a hold of it. and You don't want to bend the card too much because then you put a crease in the card. All right, but you need to start this foil piece off the edge. So I got a good foil piece off. Now the older the card, the more it's gonna stick because it glues fresher on the front of the card. And then we're gonna pull. Now the trick is not to pull fast and to keep a nice constant level to it that you don't pull the paint off the front of the card. Because if you do that, then you kind of ruin it and then you just gotta get another card to do it. So don't do this with the nicer cards. This is a J.J. Watt card on the Texans. He's not on the Texans. This card has become much less desirable. But see, see this right here is a good example. See how you see some color on this? That means I'm pulling color from the actual card. And when I show you the hollow later, I'll give you the idea what that looks like. But it's a very, you gotta go slow and you gotta be real consistent. And kinda take your time with it. All right, it, it, there's a little pressure here that's going on, but it's consistent. It's not a ripping tear or anything like that. And you'll sometimes feel the card give. These edges, they give pretty easily. The areas that have the coloring on them, sometimes do not. The older the card, definitely the more it happens. Here's some of the glue that's holding it down. That's why I said this card has multiple layers to it technically for the printing process card we're pulling off the back is basically a multiple layers of foil or a foil right here because it looks like tin foil that's where you get that nice shine let's see if we can get this off without taking too much paint glue coming off okay so I just took it off there's the card the back of the card or middle I guess I could say because I've taken the back of the card off now I am left with this now what I was talking about, if I can see it here, um, of course this has my fingerprints all over it right now, but let me find my example card here where I took the Khalil Mack, did the same thing. This is in like a 1990 or 92 um, hologram card that I have from the Braves. And the reason I use this one is because the entire card is holographic. It's a 3D hologram, 1991, a Burdett Company. Now I haven't wiped this card down, but usually I'll take a cleaning cloth and wipe down all those marks from my fingers, you know, my the oils and stuff. Try and clean it up the best I can. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tuck it right in front of this card here. And now I have this type of hollow card. And you can see the word Braves behind it, which would be really cool if you could have something else, but you got this hollow refractor card basically and it's much more in depth than a regular silver um, I don't know why card companies don't think of this stuff I don't know why 
we have to think of it for them to do. I don't know if they'll do something like this, but I have multiple ideas to use stuff like this. People love holograms. They always have. They just haven't used them properly in cards, um, in my opinion. But So this is basically how I would create this. Now, there's nothing to the back of the card, but you have a really cool-looking custom card that's, you know, cool. Um, you can do this with Topps products, too. Anything that has, it's a heavy foil. Um, as you can see, it's a see-through card at this point. If you put pretty much anything behind it, you can see through it. So based on what you have behind it, you can create a different look. Um, but like I said, I like the holograms, you know, where you can kind of, you know, throw it behind it and create a hollow foil look. But it's something I do. It's kind of fun. Um, they don't always go perfect. I promise you that. You can tear some of them and uh, take the paint straight off the player and whatnot. Here's an example of the... Uh, Aaron Rodgers I did which really pops with the colors with the team color and a little bit of the green and the yellow that pops through but just an example of what you can do um, with cards you know especially if they're not highly valuable cards I'm opening a bunch of products so I probably have 10 of this card so uh, I tore, tore one apart it came apart well it's a newer card so it will but it's just something hey if you want to have fun practice with something play with something be careful with knives guys these are dangerous. I don't want kids to, to play with these and hurt themselves. Um, and it is tricky to get that edge off. I'll tell you that right now. To get that edge off, um, probably one out of every three cards, I don't get the edge off. Um, I just ruin the card. So uh, practice on the guys you don't like. But uh, all right, guys, like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. You ever do anything like this? Uh, you ever seen anybody do anything like this? Curious. All right, guys, thanks.